Okay, the camera's already good to go. And which way is it going? <laughs> so it's like the wrong direction here. Okay. Oh, actually, that's good. All right. So let me explain some of the um, materials. Oh, okay. I see. Have people watch. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Help me get rid of that. Oh, uh, I think we just put this. Sorry. There we go. Oh. Uh, all right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. So now we can get started. Um, if you guys don't know me, my name is Sonia. I have been in classes here for a while now, maybe since last December. Um, so <laughs> some of you guys saw. Uh, <laughs> and um, some are repeats to the paint pouring. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Thank you. Um, all right. So the things that Thank I you. set up first for you guys to get going is just, actually, it's not really much. It's just the canvas board. So if yours still has some plastic on it, please make sure you unwrap that. Um, and just so you know, I'll go over materials and also explain kind of like or you can get them, or like what kind, you know, specifics about the materials as I go through. But if you guys have any questions about anything, or you want me to just even say something again, um, just let me know. Okay. Um, you should have one canvas and then something to hold up your canvas off of the table. So these little triangles are kind of like made for this, but a lot of the time people just use plastic cups. So like these bigger ones, you can just put two or three if you have these at home. Just something to support the canvas, okay? It doesn't matter if it's touching the um, middle too much, but you know, maybe you want to lay it so it's on the edges. But it's as long as it's going to be kind of like a place for your canvas to rest on there, it should be fine, okay? So if you don't have um, any of your supports, we have another little bit right here. Or if one of yours is really stuck, you're stuck. Use <laughs> <laughs> these ones. Try to get these unstuck. Um, yeah, good, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are other ways to do paint pouring. Um, this is the way that I found to be most beginner friendly. So um, I have some materials to go over. Okay. So first of all, you need a canvas. You're going to need a lot of cups. Um, so for ours, we're going to do three cups per pour, okay, or three colors. So as you guys are deciding what colors you want, you're going to come up and fill your cup with a little bit of paint, okay? So these are actually pre-made or pre-mixed acrylic pouring mediums. So they're just from Hobby Lobby. Michaels also sell them. You can buy them online. Um, what it basically is, is just a mixture of acrylic paint and a pouring medium, okay? So if, for example, you wanted to buy just the medium itself, this is what you would buy, and this is like a craft paint that you could use, and you can combine these two, for example, to make all of these, you know, this kind of paint for pouring, okay? So it's just trying to run down the paint a little bit and make it thinner so that it pours and it flows a little bit more, okay? Uh, but ours are gonna be pre-mixed and I really just brought this one to show you guys as thin the paint if it needs it. How much of that do you put in and what do you paint? Um, I would say if you're gonna mix your own, I would do like half and half. So half pouring medium, half paint. And then you can also go off of the consistency it should well, I'll go over the consistency how you guys do it, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys how to mix up the paints first and then you guys can pick your colors. And then once we're all ready, then I'll show you actually how to pour it, okay? So let me sit down just so I can reach everything. And so when you guys come up and get your colors, you're gonna decide which three you want to do, okay? Um, I would suggest getting colors that are, well, you can really pick your own colors, but you know, if you pick something like all dark colors, then your whole canvas is gonna look dark, okay? If you pick, you know, two bright colors, right, then, so you just wanna think about what colors go well together. So um, maybe if you wanna do kind of like a fiery looking one, 
you would do like the red, orange, the yellow, right? If you want it to look a little bit more like aquatic, maybe you'll pick some of these, okay? So we have the paints here. Can you guys see all? That's okay up there. Can you see everything? See if I can adjust this lighting a little. Oops. Okay, a little bit better. Um, okay, so when you start, I'm gonna just do. Hmm, what color should I do? About it. I'll do some white. I I kind of always like to use a little bit of white. Oh, this is a, a little bit of white because um, I don't know, it just makes the whole thing pop a little bit. Would that be one of the three colors, the white? You can do whatever colors you want to do. But I mean, in addition to white or. No, you're that just, would be one of the colors. Yes, that would be one of the colors. Actually, I'm going to switch right. to silver. Okay, so when you do this, you're really just going to pour a small amount. Like if you see the little cup about to that little rim, maybe a little more. Okay. Um, or if you're thinking about pouring like a tablespoon in, if you guys have ever, you know, measured with a tablespoon. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pick three colors. I'll do this blue. And these are already fairly runny paints, okay, because they're already like designed for this, but um, I would suggest putting a little bit more of the pouring medium if you feel like your paint is a little bit thick. Like if you, um, for example, like see that it's dried out. Actually, I'm gonna save this one. There's not that much pink. So I'm gonna save that one. I'll do... All right, so we're not trying to measure exactly, like if you don't get exactly a tablespoon, it's okay. We're just trying to fill the cup a little bit with the meat, okay? Um, what else? So then now we're going to get, like I said, a little bit of this pouring medium is going to help to just make it run a little bit. So. I would just pour, oh, this is a new one, an old one, a couple drops of this, okay, um, and then some people even like to put a little bit of water in there, but I think this is runny enough where, you know, you could use that instead of water, um, and then with your popsicle thing, you're going to stir each color, blending in whatever you mix into it. So in this case, I just poured a little bit of that um, pouring medium. Uh, I use satin varnish as pouring medium too. So it's just, it's like- You said varnish? Yeah, it's a satin varnish and pouring medium. They're really similar. So I had some satin varnish at home, so I just brought it. It's basically a polymer. Uh, everything in here is uh, polymer based or like plastic based. So um, when you mix, polymers together, then you can thin, thin them down, or, and they're all water-based too. So if you mix water with a paint, it'll mix up. If you mix anything that's a polymer base, it'll mix up with it, okay? Um, you just don't want to put anything oil-based because then that won't. So you can use water in place of this one? You could use a little bit of water, but again, water is going to make it really, really runny. So the idea is that when you're about to pour, it should come off of the what is it called? Popsicle stick. <laughs> it should come off of a popsicle stick running, like not like this. So I would put a little bit more in this just so it gets to that running feeling. And that's what you guys are going to do. You're going to just test each one and make sure it's kind of running off a little bit more. See? Like that. It should kind of run off the popsicle stick. Okay? So if you're worried about measurements and stuff like that, it doesn't matter. As long as when you test it, you know, your paint is going to run off and at least be a little bit runny and not like drops. Okay. So you're going to have these to kind of adjust. So I'm just going to add a little bit to that one. Right. This one feels like it's already really runny. So that one's okay. Maybe add a little more. Yes. Okay. 
So now that that's the consistency that you want to aim for. Okay. So when you pour it up, it should kind of run off like a stream. See, it kind mm -hmm. of makes like a line, right? Like when it drips. There's no like scientific way to describe it. You just kind of have to look at it. And as long as it's pouring off like a stream, that's good. If it's super watery, you've gone a little too far, right? So it's not as, it's almost like a, like a warmed up honey, <laughs> right? Honey itself is too thick, but like a, like a maple syrup maybe kind of consistency. That's what you want to go with, okay? So go ahead and pick the colors that you guys want right now. Um, I do have these little cups, but I don't have, you know, um, enough. So we're going to use some of these too. If you're using this one, then just do just to that line on the very bottom. Okay. So come up and get your colors that you want. And you're just pouring in some of the paint and then pouring in um, the pouring mediums at your table. So I'll just put one of these bottles for table. Okay. Here's a row of cups. Three cups. Three cups. <laughs> also, if you want, instead of that board, you can also just use a, a covered canvas okay, yeah. to help support it. I brought, I brought a canvas. Oh, okay. I like this size to see what would happen. Yeah. And then I don't have a single other canvas in my hand. And I don't own another canvas in my hand. I stole them from the spider. Yellow, are you selling this week? Still good. I haven't gotten that far. Oh, well, actually, it might be. I wanted to help me. I got a show this week. Right, I know. Were you waiting to help me yesterday with my hat? No, I was down there yesterday. I was so much. I'm not sure where they are. Yeah, it's right there. Well, it's really good to help me with my hat. I have a lot of people saying, you have a cousin who works at the hospital or the bank or the school. We're out there. I love that. I brought some random stuff. Yeah, I brought some random stuff. Oh, yeah. 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 O
Probably just to cover the bottom plus up. You know what I mean? This is our three maps, right? Well, like I said, you want to do that right. So, yeah, it's a push. All I need is Oh, no, more. Three more. Why don't we get one more color? I like that color. Why? How much more? I want to make sure you guys know if there is a white. No, I mean, this is yeah, I said three tables, but um, like that. All right, right. See how it's not running enough. Yeah. So you're gonna go to your table and pour a little bit of that pouring medium into it to make it running enough. So go ahead and do another two four more. Yeah, go ahead and get another one. Do we have the ring? Yeah, I think that's black. I don't want to. Yeah, that's black. Yep, charcoal. Actually, it's pearlized charcoal. Is that enough? Black actually does look good. Sonia, can we just put a little more of three colors? If you really, if you want those three colors only, then yes. You can just add yeah, another color. Okay, then just um, switch it over for another color. Like if you add that one, like then it'll mix up pretty well. Can I have some gold? Oh, the little folks are going to use this one. Yes. Okay. This gold? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, black also kind of tends to make it pop if you have some lighter colors in there. I think it's a black and black. Oh, 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 it's okay. I, it's, it's well. so I'm a little bit more orange in there, maybe. Me? Okay, so do I have enough orange? Yeah, so and then get your own color as well. Oh, oh, these are eight 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 four? Four? Yeah. Oh. Just, have you got any more? I don't have any more of this color now. Do you know where they are? But yeah. Yeah. this one's yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use these. Yeah. yeah. The the color is getting a little barrel. Oh, that's that's fantastic. I'm going to paint it. Even I'm so breaking it. Oh, there's no more paper towels. Where are they? The roll is over here, a paper towel. Yeah, sorry. There's some right here. I brought it over here. Yeah, there's some right here. I brought it over here. Yeah, there's some right 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 here. There's more cups in the food. That's okay, I'll get it. Oh, yeah.
My husband calls me Ralph's and can hang around with people. Is that a rough one? I'm sure I need four. I feel a little more. And I'm going to put a little black in it. Three yellow. Yeah, like that, right? Uh, black, actually, with the orange, I'm just going to make it oh, all around. So, I would maybe do this. Okay. Silver. Okay. 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 Well, you know, the 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 more so that can be your Sorry. One more. Yeah, if you don't have a popsicle stick, go ahead and get one. Oh, I see a comment here. Let me see. You see a what? I see a comment. Somebody made maybe it's just a standard one. Oh yeah. Okay. And if anybody's at home <laughs> that has questions or comments, please say them out loud or put them in the chat. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Nemo, Nemo got um. This is paint scraps that came out of a, a palette. Okay. So I think that was really cute because it looks like a fish. Oh, I see the edges of it. Okay. So when we're done, we can look at the dog. Thanks. I can't hang them up yet. She said it's really so you should be adding a little bit of that foreign medium in. So that's the big bottle that I passed around, and this little bottle you guys have. Like this? Is that true? No, that's good. Okay. That one comes from the end. Yeah, you can make sure everyone's in the first one. A good way to test it is kind of scoop up as much as you can. So I'm going to take a little bit of paint. I need to get some of that. Is yours all good? Looks like it. Is that good? Is that true? I would do a little bit on it. Um, if you guys have an apron, yeah. <laughs> if I don't, uh, just be careful. I didn't think about the I don't have any. I'm like a fan of yeah. 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 I need a little supplies list to bring to class. Oh, <laughs> okay. Apron, couple gloves. Yeah. If you've done it before, you, you realize you need an apron. Well, I should have thought about that because of so much press. And I'm sorry, I need to get one. So, yeah. And you should definitely have at least a tablespoon in there, okay? Especially with the mix already in there. Does your paper towel sleep? Yes. Oh, sorry. that's okay. There, we can go. If you have very little, I would come up and try to get some more. If you have too little page. That's right. I'm not sure. 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 I'
so quickly okay uh try to open it just a little bit so you don't get giant drops or a giant stream of it coming out um and then i uh, in each cup put just like a couple drops like maybe three drops oh that's a stream <laughs> okay just like that okay so when you got you get that in there then we're gonna just mix it up. Whoops, without <laughs> splashing. <laughs> mix that one up in there. Ooh, I splashed all over. Mix them up in there. Just mix it a little bit. You don't need to go nuts mixing this cell activator in there, okay? You just want it to kind of, this is what's gonna make the little bubbles and stuff pop up, okay? So, what is that stuff that's silicone? Yeah, so the in stores and art stores are going to call it um, cell activator. I just put some in these bottles. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but this is one that I got online. So I have drops. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically like. Yeah. 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 No, it's <laughs> not like a. No, yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. just silicone. So it's, oh, okay. not, it's not oil. You can't use anything else. You can't use anything oil based. Okay. It has to be silicone. Oh. Yeah. Because otherwise it's not going to blend. It's just a couple of dots. Two to three. Two to three. Yeah, I can't even return. That's pretty good. I'm sure I need it to form. I almost don't oh, know. No. What is this for? That's it for the drops. Bubbles. Yeah. Like bubbles. No, that, yeah, that's for the. You're going to put a three or four drops in each cup. And then you mix it or? And mix oh, just, just the color. Yeah, mix it up. Just a little bit. Don't you don't have to go crazy with it. Clockwise. Can't clockwise. <laughs> I never got that clockwise now with clockwise. Okay. Yeah, it's getting technical. You don't have to, Sonia, to know. You don't have to know off the top of your head who the lady was who was sitting in that spot yesterday at the film class. Oh who um helped me with my hat. I'm seeing it on the video. So what should be yellow? I'm seeing it. What? She was wearing yellow. I thought she was wearing orange. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. That's all I know. Yeah, that's see, what I that's pretty sick. That's why I'm getting off with that baby. Boy, I saw a YouTube video recipe. Did they use that? Yeah. That's why I wondered what silicone is. Okay, let's try to get these fried off here. I guess people are still running. They're running. They're running. They're running. They're running. They're running. They're running. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I got the 
I don't know. There's not some pumpkin I do, but so maybe if you add in a lot more cinnamon and then get Okay, not so that? Yeah, not so much that. Yes. So once we have these mixed up, okay, um, we'll talk these out with the cups. Somebody give you guys one bigger cup? Oh, if you have it already, if you Oh, okay. And this is where we're going to put all the colors. Okay. So, what you want to do when you do this, though, is just work kind of carefully. So, um, we're going to put a little bit of color in. This is my big cup, right? So, I'm going to just pour the paint, put a little bit, and then I'm going to alternate with another color. And I'm going to pour it right there in the middle. And then I'm going to alternate with another one. And we're just going to keep alternating as we pour it into the cup. Do you see how it's just kind of like yeah. probably in the same order? Uh, yeah, you can do the same order. Well, you can try it in order, but I already forgot what my order was. Okay, it's black. <laughs> Okay, I'll try a light one because the two dark colors maybe shouldn't be together. There's no real rule to it. It's just trial and error, you know, like you try with colors, you see what works well, you know. Later on, you decide kind of what, what colors you lean towards, what colors you like. Right. Come on. Sure. We'll be doing that now. Yeah, go for it. So for this small canvas, you really just need a small amount of paint. But if you were to have a bigger canvas, you know, you would probably need the whole this whole cup filled up, right? Wow. And just keep doing that until we keep doing it until you're done with all your colors. Oops, I'll just go. I mean, it's okay if you drip, <laughs> like, it doesn't, if it's not staying perfectly in the middle, it's okay. Yeah, you just kind of want to try to get it in the same spot, but if you're going all over it, it's not the end of the world. Come on. Okay, and I'm going to pour mine first with the amount of paint that I have, just to make sure that we all have enough paint, okay? Um, when I did this last, I measured it with a different cup, so I want to make sure that we have enough paint to fill up our entire canvas. And make sure you don't mix this after you do this alternating color thing. <laughs> but they are mixing in the door. Yeah, that's okay if they mix up in the cup. Oh, well, card is ready. What? <laughs> it's someone's phone. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm not going to answer.
so that it comes back in the middle and it just doesn't start stretching out so much, okay? So tilt it in one direction. This is tilting to the right. Gonna bring it back a little bit. Tilt it the other way, right? 
So just alternating, I'm just going clockwise around the canvas. Bringing it back. Can you mark this? Can you Anything on this side? Okay. Can even spray it. maybe a little bit of water if it feels like it's it might be dry on one side, right? Oh, we spray our canvas. Yeah, not right now. Though. Only when you're about to start. Okay. So that's bringing this back a little. And this is going to start to run off of one edge. Okay. So you just want to let it go kind of as much as you can get it to go towards the corners. So I'm going to the back of the first side. Let that go. I kind of feel like I could have put some more paint on here. So I had very little in that blue one. So I think if you guys have um, a little bit more, like, you know, you got the heat of we did with the amount that you have. So should we get more or you think? No, I think with what you guys have, it's good. My cup was filled about like uh like a thumb width up. Like if you have a thumb amount. Okay, that yeah. should be good. If you have any less, I would say get a little bit more. Dr. I would do a little bit more on that. Oh, yeah. So just add more red or whatever one of the colors that you have. Okay. Because then uh, it's just going to be easier if you if you have too little paint on here, then, you know, it's not really going to cover the entire uh, surface, which I mean, I kind of like it where it has a white border kind of showing. But if you poured a ton of paint, right, then it would go all over the edges completely. Well, eventually it's going to run off one side. <clears throat> Yeah, add a little bit more. If you feel like you think you need a little bit more, add it now. Okay. And then a part of it, too, is just kind of leaving it there, you know, when you're done. So Yeah, you can. There. So, for example, if we wanted to add a little bit more. Oh, I think I think that's plenty, actually. Yeah. If you want, we can put a little bit more yellow in here just in case. Okay. 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 Right. Um, if you guys want to add a little bit more just in case, you know, that's fine. It's gonna be too much. I think that's good. Okay. And you'll see that some of these little bubbles are starting to come up. Yeah, that's that's um the silicone. Okay. Is that real trade? I would do a little bit more on that. Yeah. We have, do we have a sprayer for it? Oh, well, okay. This is, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I think. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Then we just put it out and flip it, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. There's one more thing I wanted to show you guys before you did that. Okay. So as you're working, you might notice that some of these edges might need like a little bit of help. So if that's the case, what I like to do is just kind of guide it a little bit with this popsicle stick. And it'll help just kind of help it flow into that corner. Okay. And then also you should have a little bit left over in your cup that you can also pour on the corners. Just to make sure you kind of get all those little edges filled up. Okay. I, I like the white. Maybe, I like how some of the canvas. Yeah, I kind of like it with the white showing, but it's up to you. Uh, the more paint you have, then it'll completely cover all the edges, right? So if you want it completely full, just make sure you have enough paint in your tray. I mean, in your cup. So I'm going to just pour this here on the edges. Mom's going to put in the paint. I want you to. Yeah, fine. We have about five, four canvases, five canvases. So if somebody wants to try another one, you know, and after with whatever paint we have left, you could try it. It just depends. Like you said, it just happens, right? 
You just have to 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 and then bring it back. Oh, wait. Before you really tell, yeah, mine is this thing. Bring it back. And let's get more on this side. Okay. So you might want to get up and do this too, because you kind of have to like, yeah, like that. Oh, cool. Like this. Oh, I love it. Yes. I know. Bring it back to the center. Oh, I kind of like how it's like lightning. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, it's too much. Because then all the cells are going to get uh, smushed. Oh, okay. Fire. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's very tempting to want to touch the surface of it, but actually, the less you touch on the surface with anything, even with a popsicle stick, um, you know, the less you might mess it up. So, oh, the more you'll mess it up. Yeah, try not to. To mess with the surface of it, or else you're going to just end up oh, losing the effect. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to leave the white though. Yeah, if you want to leave the white edge, totally up to you. Yeah, I like the white. I got to stop. Did you say those cells just pop out, or are we still still? The cells are going to pop up. You just have to give it a minute to let okay. it rest. Oh, when, you're, okay. when you're done moving it, that's when it's going to start to show a little bit more. Okay. So don't worry. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I don't right think you can make a mistake. That's totally beautiful, different. too. It's like mm -hmm. it reminds me of water. And you'll never be able to do two the same either. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's true. You know, do you guys remember, like, it might have been 15 years ago, and when we oh. went to, like, an art show or something, mm -hmm. and we were selling these? Mm -hmm. And we, we, we had no idea back then. Maybe it was longer than that. I don't remember. But I remember looking at this stuff. How did they paint that? And then eventually it became... And the know about poor painting. But yeah, that's what they did. It. Those were the original people that did it a long time ago, encouraging poor who bucks. Yeah, right. Everybody's so quiet. <laughs> so focused. Yeah, it does take a quiet. It's cool. I love it. Oh, wow. I love how the blue comes in with that. It's just those are complimentary. Aren't they blue and red complimentary? Mm -hmm. Or no, that's the opposite. Is that complimentary? I don't know. I don't but think it's, it's cool. Nobody else is cool. No, no. I'm not liking the colors. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want that corner. Okay, so I would let it rest because right now it's kind of looking like it's been spread. Yeah. So if you want, you can leave the edges white like that. It's up to you. Um, or what you could do is get some of this extra right, right here. You see how you have to cover it. 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 I know. Yeah. So I would get here. I mixed right here and just start putting this. Oh, no, I was just let it dry and have it on. Oh yes. How do you take these home? You know. Yeah, you're gonna have to come back and pick them up because they're not gonna be hot. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Very good. Pour them over the base and then they have the base. Let's see how. Last time I did this, I think it was dry. It was on the table and they put their finger. I love. No, 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 no. Yeah, they did. Oh, my God. I don't want to touch it. 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 I
Well, you would think they would see all the sweat and say, oh, this part, see oh dear. It kind of looks on you. It's fine. You have to see the front. How long does it take this to dry? You do have quite a bit of paint on here. So what I've seen now works out with say. Stretch out a little bit more. Down there. That's great. 15 hours. Wow. Because think about how many layers we have. It's the front. Um, I can get it tomorrow because I'll see her a bit. I want to make sure I leave some more. That's really pretty. I like that. Thank you. I don't want to go that. I've gone that blue teal and I love it. But I have a lot of that. This is so cool. It like creates its own little world. I know. The first one looks like. And then what I want to do is I want to get somebody that covers. I want to get somebody so to put it okay. in a give me and it won't matter black one in a letter so, so I can put a brush on it. You can decide to make it later if you want to um, paint it just with acrylic white paint. I haven't gotten far enough get to get the same that color later that you use. <laughs> yeah, she well, has a vacation this week. I will. We'll I will get to it this week. I think it looks good with white. But it's up to you. No, no. That's a good idea. Yeah, look at it from the top, you guys. So if you're in the house, I think it's Wow. It's gonna be messy. Oh, yeah. it's messy. Yeah. Um, this is kind of kind of debated when they want to try So, yeah. Um, it is a little bit tricky to. And you can't you know, really pick up the paint. To put these like to dry. The so, what well, we're gonna do? Yeah. So, that's where she says. It says that it takes several days to dry. Okay. Oh. So, what I want you guys to do when you're done is, you know, hopefully it's not getting it all over. But <laughs> we're gonna put it on these shelves. And really try to just pinch them back. Well, we'll know. probably need to put down plastic on them. Yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some plastic, okay? Or paper towels, or I'm just gonna get that roll and roll up. Okay. So when you feel like it's all done, put it on. You can move yours over here. Okay. And once it's on here, it shouldn't, you know, nothing should happen to it and it dips in the grip or anything. And then I'll put a sign here so that nobody don't touch messes with your wet. stuff. Yeah, these are wet. Please don't touch them. Yeah, just trust them. It works. Where did we pick them all? How long do you think? Oh, where did you pick them? Oh, probably at least by the end of the week. And how did you get the okay. group? Like, I just made it from the cup. Yeah, from the cup. Yeah. Just because. Uh, mm -hmm. it's not very much. Okay, so I'm like this. Layer. I wish I brought more canvases so everybody can do two. I've got another one now. Come on, let's go. Okay. I guess you still can't make a mistake. All right, so when yours is ready, just carefully take it over here and place it <clears throat> in the shelf. If you have a little bit, that's okay. Just, you know, we'll play it out. <laughs> Oh no, you don't need those. I don't. Okay. No, you can just lay it flat now on the on the paper. You don't need anything to support it. Yeah. Wow. And then um, go ahead and start rinsing off your cups and stuff if you're done with your cups. If you feel like you want to make another one with whatever we have left, go for it. Um, just rinse out your. Do you have a classroom? Did you get um, yeah. these ones mm -hmm. I actually bought okay. um, at. By the way, I'm using Ross. paper cutter. I got a lot of brown. Yeah, Ross has something like paper ones and having all of your microphones. I see what I'm seeing the sun is being fed to them. It's five blood. Oh, really? Yeah, I can't remember what it's five blood. Yeah. 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 They they have this size only at Ross and one size up, and that's it. Yeah, my daughter. They're very limited. Do you need to make everything? Yes, because if you recycle all, I do bring you all the cups. So just rinse those off, okay? Can we take yours? Oh, you're nice to have. See, I didn't get enough in them. What do I do? The chunks. I'm trying to Oh, you got the end. You got to turn it. Don't be on stick. You got to move it around. Uh, see, it's, there's nothing else. Oh, okay, that's fine. So, so do I need to just look up to yeah. I would leave it because the more touch it, the more fussy it's going to get. So, if anything, we could get anything that's extra in here and drip it. But realistically, you just want to leave it. It's just amazing. Yeah. 
worry about it too much. Yeah, you can do something like that. So we don't need one letter. Yeah. So if you have these large, it might be a good idea to just maybe use a little bit of a small one. Smaller there. Oh, if you want to. Oh, cool. All right. So when you guys are done, like I said, just bring it on over. Uh, walk into the stuff. Yeah, I need some back here. Okay. My take up so soon that you can see the canvas do that. Is that normally you just have a unit for character or you do pour some more? Do you have one? I do have some more that just kind of dripped off. I put it like dripping. Yeah, pour some more there. Why not? Okay. Because I don't want to ruin it. That's why not. You yourself are not really turning up, so I'm going to do is give it a little, a little love here. Okay. So we want some of the bubbles to kind of pop up. Sometimes what do you mean by Yep. Just make sure you wash your stuff with oil because I mean with oil with soap. <laughs> That's not good. Or else that silicone is not gonna come out, okay? Then we would turn it. Oh she said not to turn it. Oh she said not to turn it. Yeah, you do not turn it once when you huh? did you say not to turn it? For me. See mine. I thought she should have turned that a little bit with the red. Yeah, yeah. Have it run off the bottom a little. Keep tipping it. Tipping it. Okay. I'm changing. This is a good. I like how you put the red in there. That pop of color right there where it needs it. Yeah. It's oh, done it. It was awesome. Interesting. Yeah. So, no matter what you do, you're going to get all the marble. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You kind of pull that more. See? So, because of the majority of the weight of it is right here, it may not travel too far, but let's, let's see. Let's see. Depends. It's going on. It's kind of through the weight. Oh, I see. Yeah, in the light. Yeah. You have to hang it. You have to put it in the light reflection. It'd be much easier with a smaller, like, poster. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, if you do it on a poster, this is. Out will probably yeah. give you, or you can get a little bit and just. And also, when you frame it, it does take off a, uh, about a quarter inch. That's off true. The edges. If you want to frame. Yeah. If you want it completely, you know, covered, then you can try to use whatever. Uh, there's a gal that I did a uh, compressor with. Uh -huh. She did not have hers framed. Oh really? Yeah. Um, that's why I covered my edges like this because I don't want to frame it. I yeah. Yeah. That's true. Right. Can you do the same colors? Uh, a little bit different. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, yeah, we still have more extras if you guys want to try it. Over here. Yeah. 
We can just throw them in town with all the I love the marble one. It looks more like this. It kind of looks like nothing. So that's kind of what I think. Ah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's way darker. I didn't realize that the black and six was so overwhelming. I said equal amount. I would have said much less black. That's good. That's the actual one thing about this. Or anything on deck of five. Each one's going to be different. You know, every time I do a piece, it's different. And there is a pot coming up with Robin and I. Yeah. She does the uh, palette paint uh, classes, uh, the wood paint. Yeah. Her and I are doing a class in a couple weeks here. Okay. Uh, it's going to be um, decoupage on wood paint and cans. And I don't know if we're a full yet or not, but. <laughs> yeah, so. okay, I guess I'm going to How did you get your wall on the edge of the Oh, with my finger. With your finger? Yeah, I just like, spread it with my finger. Because it didn't matter how it looked, I just didn't want it to be white. So. Well, I put those in here. <laughs> yeah. And it goes at the same time. I mean, no good to wash my hands and then touch the stuff. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, <laughs> 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 I like it when you, you, you like the project. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's very good when you take it home. Like it. I didn't plug it off the other side. Are we supposed to mop up the table? No, I'm going to throw it away. Don't worry about that. What did we put these? Those are these on the top. I learned. And if you can also rinse off a little um, sand. Mm -hmm. Can you turn off the sand? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.